Um, all our garments are made in New Zealand. Um, they, they always have been. And there's always debate about, you know, oh, but designers have gone offshore and, you know, it's because they're bigger. But I don't believe that's true at all. Um, we supply big brands and we've always kept it in New Zealand. And it is, it is more difficult as you get bigger to, to keep it in New Zealand, but we really have to do our best to make sure that we do. Otherwise, New Zealand will have no fashion industry. Everything will be made offshore. And it'll be very difficult then to be really creative because when you take things offshore, you have minimums of however many you have to do. And it's got to be pretty basic because the whole point you go offshore is that it's simple. It's, you know, they just churn it out. So when you come to do real design, you can't just send something like this to a big factory to be made. It, it's got to be made here. And we o oversee everything as we do it. So if the machinist or the pattern cutter is having a problem, we're able to be there and, and have a look straight away and see what we can do to work it out. And it's, it's very important with all the collection. It's the same when we worked with Ruben Patterson when he painted canvases for us and we made them into coats. Just machining them and turning them inside out was so difficult because I think we had 20 layers of glitter. It was glitter varnish, glitter varnish, glitter varnish all the way through. Um, and they were, they were art pieces, they were canvases. And then when you machine it and have to pull the arm through, it starts cracking. And, and so you have to really work out how you're going to do it. But with great machinists, which there aren't enough of in New Zealand, unfortunately, you know, you can do that because they see it as a challenge. So it was very interesting to see how weddings have evolved since, you know, the traditional bride in the, in the white lace dress and how, how it has all, it's just completely changed. It's like children's names, you know, now people want to all give their children unusual names and, and move away from the tradition. And it's the same with weddings. People want to, to wear something completely different and not the meringue that everyone else wore because they want to stamp their own individuality, I think, on it. Um, but, but weddings are still something I feel that even though they're in the decline, it's, it's just the swings and roundabouts thing. It'll all come around again. And it, it's, there's something wonderful about a wedding. We all love going to them and we all get very teary. And, you know, hearing two people take vows and hoping that they mean it to be together for a long time and to share everything. You know, it's an enormous commitment, enormous commitment for any couple to make. And it, and it is a really lovely thing to go to and to share that with friends or relatives who are getting married. And it's, it's just one of those things, and I don't care how, you know, um, out there you think you are or how different you are. At the end of the day, we all want the same thing. We want to be loved, we want to be cared for, we want to feel needed, and that's having a partner and predominantly getting married eventually. And all women do, as much as they might say they don't, they want to get married. They want to, you know, have all their friends see how lovely they look in a dress. And if they got married in the world dress, God almighty, their friends would be so jealous <laughs> and looking at them. And, you know, that's what marriage it is about. We might not all want to get married in a church, but, you know, weddings are still what people want to go to. It's a lovely thing to, to hear when people get married.